We are in Istanbul and we're gonna find out how expensive it is Istanbul. Today we're gonna to put ourselves $10 budget and we're gonna go all around, explore everything within that budget. Without further ado, let's start today from the beginning. Just left home and exchanged money for $10 we get 60 Turkish Liras and that's our budget for today everything we're gonna eat everything we're gonna go that's the budget we cannot spend anymore so now we're heading towards the seaside where we're gonna start the day with the boat tour and explore the way as well as we get in close to the thing you get in more wind yeah. We just come to the seaside and it looks absolutely beautiful. I can see the mosques on the other side of the water. There's boats passing by. We are in between two bridges. Birds are flying. And it looks absolutely amazing here. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways. And on Finally, we find the smith. I was so hungry. We didn't eat anything yet. I see a seller here. Smith is this rolled bread. I would have much preferred to have a Turkish breakfast, proper Turkish breakfast, but unfortunately, we have a budget, as you guys know today. So one smith will have to be enough for me. Good prices. Walking along the Istanbul, you will see lots of these places. They sell simit and other options as well, and it's pretty cheap 175. And you can get simits like this raw bread, or you can get matcha and all this kind of stuff. Pretty cheap for breakfast. We're not gonna eat it here because the boat is right next to it. We're just gonna wait for the boat and then we will eat it while we are inside the boat. Just bought our ticket, it was 20 Turkish dollars per person, we bought it from here and in case you're wondering to come here, it's just next to Galata Bridge. Now we've got like five minutes, we have to wait for the boat and then we will start a Boaz tour. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you, baby up with a slow motion crew, and we up in the clouds when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun, could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. But tour going pretty well. But because of the wind, it feels pretty cold here right now. Normally it's a bit chilly when you're on the boat, but when you're on the boat, it's freezing cold. We're trying to feed seagulls. Last time when we did a boss tour in Istanbul, they were flying with us, so we were feeding them. I will put you some footage, but this time for some reason they're not coming close. We keep throwing them some simit, but they're not coming anywhere close to get food, unfortunately. Just get out of the boat, but one smith wasn't enough to fill me up and especially Julia throw most of them to the birds and that's why there is, just when we come out, there is like boats here, small boats and they're serving fish inside of bread so we're just gonna go eat that and share it with you guys Is your fish in the bread? You're gonna put lemon and salt and bon appetit. For Julia it was too much bread so she take the top bit out. And for this we paid 15 Turkish Liras. in there Julia sees some sweet that she wanted to try so now I'm gonna go grab it for her and bring it so she can give it a try I got a surprise for you Julia see this and she wanted to try so I just go grab one for her it's five Turkish liras and then we will continue our day Nice, right?
we filled up which is good now we're gonna walk next to it which is Galati bridge really interesting bridge there's restaurants on the bridge we're gonna check that out and then continue our day it's very interesting the people are fishing on top and downstairs are fish restaurants they have fish and bread here as well but I think it's more authentic to eat from the yeah boat. it was cool boats Really cool place here. They have plenty of restaurants, and when you sit down to eat or smoke your shisha, you have the view right in front of you. Pretty beautiful place. It's obviously more expensive than regular places, but it's definitely worth it. I think. We were just crossing the street under the road. And there are tons of shops here. I was expecting some empty wall path, but apparently not. Once we cross the road, we see here's a um, bazaar. It's called Corn Bazaar. I think it's mostly spices. And we're just gonna check it out quickly and then continue our way. So charged right now and we're heading towards Grand Bazaar which is the main place that we're going to check out uh, but I have to tell you it's so crowded everywhere is so crowded inside the bazaar it was crowded now we come out on the street walk into Grand Bazaar and look around me it's absolutely packed Grand Bazaar there are all this there are lots of different shops and um, some streets are really busy some streets are really quiet but you can just get lost here checking out the shops different items but now we're heading to Grand Bazaar and we'll be there soon a long time here you can just really spend all day here and you wouldn't see all the shops officially and now we'll be trying to find the exit what's the crowd there let's go check it out okay they make a huge cupboard of flowers for the next attraction we're going to popular blue mosque but in this area there are lots of famous places for example uh, Sofia is behind us but as I, as I said, we got a budget today. So we, uh, Sofia entrance is 60 Turkish Sirius, which is, which is our budget for whole day. That's why we cannot go there. But instead, we're gonna go to Blue Mosque, which is free entrance and check that out. When you stand next to it, you realize how big is the structure. Like you become really tiny compared to it. And that's what makes it really yeah, you look impressive. Small. Now that we're going inside, Julia has to cover herself. If you don't have it, they will give you free stuff to cover yourself. But Julia had her scarf, so she's just gonna use it to cover herself. There is two entrances. One of them is for prayers. They can go to inside to pray in the praying time. And the other one is for visitors. There is a queue for the entrance, but we're just gonna go inside and check it out. Oh, 
Unfortunately, it's under construction, so majority of the section has been closed, as you can see. And but it's still pretty nice. There are sections that we can see all the blue tiles, red tiles, and the massiveness of the building. But the middle section is under construction, unfortunately. from Blue Mosque and I want to give you a little bit of information about this place this area obviously Hagia Sophia is really important um, architecture but when it was built it was church and then in time they turned it to mosque and now it's just a museum but back in the days when it was under control of autonomy this Istanbul without before Turkey so the king knew the amazingness of Hagia Sophia church back in the days he was worried that this area will be known as Hagia Sophia that's why he ordered to build a massive mosque just opposite Hagia Sophia so they can call the area the name so in English it's known as Blue Mosque but normally the original name is Sultan Ahmed Jami Sultan Ahmed is the name of the king who built this mosque and that's why it's such an amazing structure as you can see behind me and now the area here is called Sultan Ahmed area so his idea worked out after Blue Mosque as we're walking around we see this obelisk that is behind me I see these in Rome as well as far as I know the Rome back in the days when it was powerful they took them from Egypt to show their power and I guess on the way they left one in Istanbul as well I'll be running possessed by a long low voodoo fired up like a wolf on the full moon and we're stuck in a la la land the tides will turn without us and I'll be killing time like I might be a cartoon to get in walking and exploring all day we decided to come to Gr um, Griftar which is in Aga Kapusa area and here we're gonna watch a beautiful view as you can see behind me we ordered a shisha for us paying 25 Turkish dollars must visit this place if you come in here and we're just gonna enjoy the shisha and watch the view Shisha tea and enjoying the view here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a really good time if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and hope to see you in the next video bye bye